Slack Attack. Boy, yeah, hey, thanks for joining me again. And this is the Packed with Rice Meet the Courier Run. And let's take care of a little business here. Um, I'm going to buy a police baton. And you'll see in a moment that they're running a special on Toxic Lichen. Finally. And I've got a ton of Toxic Lichen. So, hey. First of all, I just want to make one more batch of, uh, yeah, there we go, $100 a pop. I think it's normally $50 a pop that they'll they'll buy it off you for. So I want to make one more batch of speed boosters and then sell all my toxic lichen for a big chunk of change. As soon as I can find it. The way they organize this inventory, I finally figured out, it's by quality of item. Even if that's not really relevant to the list of items that you're searching through, for example, craft parts. Who cares about the quality of craft parts? You know, so listing all the purples and then the blues and then the greens, I mean, who the fuck, pardon my French, thought this up? This is another thing that makes the inventory so clunky in Dying Light. <laughs> okay, rant over. Alright, so we got a new Skull Crusher. And we're going to mod it with the Zazzy Galka mod, or blueprint rather, but uh, we're short. One aerosol. So leave that in the inventory for now. And away we go. You hear the jaw? All right, our first task is to call mommy. <laughs> it's a different secret location this time. It's in that box car over there. And here's something you'll see me do a number of times in this run. I'm just going to pick a fight for no reason except to <laughs> see my killer knife in action. Yeah, absolutely no strategic purpose to that whatsoever except just a, just a little bit of a... just for amusement. Alright, now uh, there is a medium locked chest in this box bar, box car rather, just around the corner, so don't forget that. I'll just skip ahead on the lock picking. And open sesame and it's a blue cricket bat. And some and some coffee. That's a nice combination. <laughs> Get jacked up on caffeine and then go cracking skulls for the cricket bat. Yeah. Crane here. Report. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. Just do what he asks and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, crane out. Okay, just cranking out a couple of batches or one or two batches of jolt juice, aka conducting a liquid. And our first objective is to go meet Jafar at the wheel station. Once again, just picking a fight. 
for, well, actually, I do have a cheap excuse here. I want to pick some shrooms here, so, you know, I want to clear the area so I can pick the shrooms in peace. <laughs> That's a pretty slim excuse, Slack. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what can I say? Just picking a fight for the hell of it. And note that these are higher level zombies. They're much more aggressive. They'll charge you at a moment's notice, sometimes en masse. Like two or three at a time. See that? Notice how they all charge me as soon as I threw the conducting liquid? Lower level zombies don't do that. It's like they barely even notice they're being splashed with conducting liquid. <laughs> Check it out. It's like they're the, de they're the defense on the line of scrimmage. <laughs> 42! 37! Hut! Hut! Charge! Yeah! Get him! Yeah! <laughs> Watch out for the screenplay! He's swinging left! Man, I'm the quarterback. Tick this guy in. Holy oh fuck! I'm out of here! Is that major slack? Okay. The hell with this noise? Wish I could run! There. That was worth it. <laughs> There's a couple more I missed there, but uh, like I said, that wasn't really the reason. That's a slim excuse. Okay, so Jafar's in a safe zone. Kareem, I'm by the wheel station. Talk you long enough. Get the job done and make it fast. This is just the first stop. A fully equipped safe zone. And when you get here, don't forget to pick up this welder blueprint. Alright? Here's a good look at that. Now I want to take care of a little business here too before we go make our pickup from Jafar. And he's got a heavy hewing axe. I was hoping he had one of these. So it's time to work some solid heavy artillery into my arsenal instead of having to rely on uh, rebars taken from goons. So still short one aerosol to mod the police baton. I will mod the heavy hewing axe though. And give it all the upgrades to bump up its handling. So give it some bleeding damage. And we got three upgrades. We'll just pile them all into the into the hewing axe. I've noticed that upgrades at this stage in the game are most likely to have handling, a handling bonus. So that's just great for this hewing axe. So there you go, there's our new heavy hitter. The heavy hewing axe, 124 damage. Pretty good uh, handling and durability. You're gonna see that in action before the video is out. And I just, um, spent some time organizing the inventory there so I just skipped ahead. Here I forgot that the safe or rather the player stash is not available until you go speak to Jafar. It's in there. Go speak to Jafar. 
go speak to Jafar Slack. He's down below. Atta boy, who's good Slack? You Jafar? Oh, I understand all. My name isn't important. What's important is that Rise sent me, and that you owe him some money. I've never seen you before. For all I know, you're just some random asshole. Fuck off. I'll tell you what. How about I break both your legs and drag you through the streets back to Rice's place, huh? And then he can explain to you that you should have cooperated. Okay, okay. Jesus. You are one of Rice's thugs. You guys are the only ones who act this shitty. Here, here's your money. Take it. And if I have to come back here... You won't get any more attitude. Mi casa, su casa. Just don't hurt me, all right? I like the way he says, fuck off! <laughs> I don't know why. Kareem, it's me. So I just threatened to break an old man's legs. And it worked, didn't it? Next, you collect a tribute from the fisherman's village. Head east, to the tunnel entrance. Their messenger always meets us. And sorry about chopping that off there. So a little bit of more organizing and running back and forth to the trader. So I edited that out too. And now let's get on with the business of meeting the courier. And the easiest way to get to that objective is just to just speed run along the expressway. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> well, that was the plan. <laughs> of course, I got sidetracked with the. Anyways, you'll see. It's hard to to run by a bunch of zombies when you got a killer knife and some conducting liquid. <laughs> And I think I'm going to officially call that knife the face cooker. Okay, it's no longer the killer knife. It's the face cooker. Okay, so one-shotting police batons are skull crushers and electrified short knives are face cookers. I'm running errands for Rise. He wields a lot of power, scares a lot of people. Damn right he does. Listen, mate, time's getting short. I'm almost out of answers in. As much as I hate to admit it, I'm getting worried. I'm doing the best I can out here, Brecken. I know, I know. I understand. I just want you to be aware of the stakes. I'm infected too, remember? Believe me, I'm motivated. Okay, just picking a fight totally for my own amusement. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Quality face cooking. Maybe the tire of that. <laughs> Feel better, Slack? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs>
Now here there's a there's a purpose to all this. It's just method to my madness. There's a couple of three police vans that I like to pick the locks on. See there they are right there. So of course I like to do that in peace. So everybody dies. And I'm getting a little dinged up here. And I'm cornered. So I think it's time to regroup and whip out the heavy artillery. Pound back a can of whoop ass. Heal up. Out go the firecrackers. On goes the hewing axe. Here I meant to do a ground pound. And Mr. Fumblefinger screwed that up. There you go. Now I want to try to time a windmill attack. But I'm trying to maximize the amount of damage. Waiting for everybody to get up, and of course, I mistimed it. And here I'm just double checking to see I actually have the windmill skill. Normally I don't bother with this skill because I find it um, I find it a little redundant. You'll see that when you're using a hewing axe like this, you don't really need the windmill skill to get multiple kills. Any zombie within the range or of your swing will you know will, will get hit. I've done like triple kills just doing a normal swing with the hewing axe. So it kind of makes the windmill skill a little a little redundant. I don't think I've ever gotten a triple kill doing a windmill. So yeah, normally I don't bother with that, but I just just got that skill for demonstrational purposes. Here is done. So I'll just skip ahead on the lock picking sequences. And this van gives up a police baton, a blue one, pretty good. And an upgrade, Bit Fighter. Same deal here, I'll just skip ahead. And another upgrade, yeah, I'm just getting some great loot here. So two more upgrades just like that, the Brawler and the Pit Fighter. Now the courier the entrance to the courier is on the other side. I kind of forgot this. Over here. And there's also another police van here too. This one gives up some pistol ammo, if I recall correctly. There we go. Yeah, so some great loot out of these police bands. So we've got lots of pistol ammo. That's great. All right, let's go meet <coughs> the courier. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Hey, Kareem, I just saw something I've never seen before. This huge bloated infected just fucking exploded. Yeah, we call them bombers. Some of our guys use them to kill other infected. Shoot them, and they take out everything in a three meter radius. You kidding me? Keep your distance and you'll be fine. But what about the courier? Was he there? No, I didn't, I didn't see anybody. Just fucking zombies. Coming, guys. I repeat, the night's coming. 
Get back to the tower while you still can. Uh oh, night is coming, and hey, what a great place for a cliffhanger! <laughs> Damn you, slack with your cliffhangers!